Governor Nyesom Wike of River State says, by politicizing insecurity, the All Progressive Congress APC-led federal government plunged the security troubled states into an unimaginable scale of banditry that may not end soon. The governor was speaking when he received the board of editors of Independent Newspapers Limited, led by the company's managing director and editor-in-chief, Steve Omano Feme at the government house but her court on Thursday. Governor Wicke said, when Rivers experienced issues of insecurity in 2015, he ran to the federal government, but rather than offering support, they dismissed it as politics out of hatred for the state and desire to see the remain, see the remain ungovernable. They didn't send special forces to Rivers as they are sending to other states now. They refused to support me because they didn't want the state to be governable. Crime knows no boundary. It can be you tomorrow. If they had brought out zeal to fight crime with seriousness and collaboration, irrespective of the party you belong to, a good result will be achieved. He further added, banditry will never end since they have politicized the issue of security. I told them, don't politicize the issues of security. They are paying the price now. Whatever you sow, you will reap. If you sow peace, you will reap peace. If you sow trouble, you will always be, trouble will always be with you. The River State Governor said it is difficult to fight crime in situations when cultists are arrested. People go to Abuja to tell the Inspector General of Police and the Chief of Army Staff that those arrested are their boys just to secure their release and let them off the law. Governor Wicke commented on the denials trailing the $1 billion withdrawn from the excess crude account and said it is shameful that a government that is fighting corruption will condone such. Allowing both the money and the weapons to go missing unaccounted for. Now the National Security Advisor says the $1 billion they took from the excess crude uh, account without being, without even paying for us, our 13% derivation is gone. They said they've not seen the weapons. But this one, the National Security Advisor is saying that they misquoted him. I tell you, nobody misquoted anything. We are aware that there was no weapon. Even the chief of army staff said he didn't collect money. So where did the money go? This is a government fighting corruption and the press is not talking. Speaking further, Governor Wiki berated the Nigerian press for losing their strength of voice to speak the truth to authority with vehemence as they did during the administration of President Goodluck Jonathan. As regards this country, we are where we are because of you journalists. In 2014, you were brought over to pull down the government of President Goodluck Jonathan. I had told the Trade Union Congress the other day and asked them, where are you that you see things in Nigeria getting worse? insecurity, increase in price of everything, and you say nothing. Now, you will, pull, you will not pull down Nigeria again because it is not a minority man that is in power. Where is the voice of the people? 
Where is the voice of the journalists? Have your mouth been sealed up? Don't, and you can't talk again? Is it because you have seen power greater than you? When Jonathan was in power, he respected fundamental human rights. He allowed freedom of speech. Nobody would be arrested, but now you can't talk because of fear that you'll be arrested. That's the situation we found ourselves in. So when I see journalists these days, I just, I'm just shy. But you owe this country a lot. Governor Wicker said, if Nigeria was truly a country, the former GOC of the 6th Division of the Nigerian Army in Port Harcourt would have been dismissed because of his political involvement during the 2019 general elections. According to him, even the former chief of army staff was so exposed when he lobbied the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and attempted to rig the 2019 general election. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, what uh, Governor Yesun Wiki has said. There are lots of truths in this particular stories, if you are. Uh, believe you ask but this is nigeria people need to speak up journalists are not speaking up enough at the same time you cannot blame them because of the fear of being arrested because under this administration just a tweet is enough to even get you arrested just a tweet to criticize the president is enough to get you arrested there are so many instances that has been uh spoken about so you can see why lots of people are not speaking out. Protest is a taboo. You cannot protest. You protest, you get arrested. So this and many more are the reason why you see that people seem to be quiet under this administration because the freedom of speech has been trampled upon and the fundamental human rights of people are no longer respected. It is very, really sad and unfortunate. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.